Welcome back to Bob Jones Realtor. Today, we're diving into the latest updates on the Nexstar EV Battery Gigafactory in Windsor, Ontario. This ambitious project is a public-private partnership involving Stellantis, LG Energy, and the Canadian government, aimed at producing batteries for electric vehicles, not just for their own cars, but for other manufacturers of EVs. To support this endeavor, Canada has committed a whopping $15 billion in subsidies and grants to secure this contract from the U.S. Windsor stands to gain significantly, with promises of 2,500 new jobs that the factory will create, a fantastic boost for the local economy and a major step forward in the electrical vehicle initiative. In fact, Canada has set an ambitious goal. 100% of cars and small trucks will be electric by 2035. But that's a discussion for another video, so let's keep moving. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Your support helps us reach more like-minded viewers, and I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Now, let's talk about the Nexstar battery plant in Windsor. While construction is still underway, we're excited to share that significant progress has been made, with production slated to kick off soon. As of July 2024, the battery module building, the smaller facility, is almost finished with equipment installation well underway. The exterior of the larger cell production building is currently 90% complete and machinery installation is ongoing. Back in December 2023, construction was around 30% complete. While I can't provide an exact percentage for now, we can confidently say that the battery module production is set to begin in early fall 2024 and full-scale cell production is expected in 2025. Spanning approximately 4.25 million square feet, that's about 400,000 square meters, this facility will ultimately have an impressive annual production capacity of 49.5 gigawatts of battery cells and modules. To date, Nexstar has already hired 325 out of the 2,500 employees needed. They're going to be a major employer in Essex County, and if you're interested in a position, now's the time to apply. There's been considerable interest in these roles. Over 5,000 applications for just the first 130 openings, so be quick when new positions are announced. For job listings, head over to 1. The official Nexstar Energy website. 2. Job platforms like Indeed, LinkedIn, or local boards. And 3. The local employment agencies in Windsor. I'll post the links in the resources in the description. Nexstar is specifically seeking candidates with experience in mechanical, chemical, or engineering fields. They're also open to applicants from various industries including food, agriculture, and automation. With 2,500 new jobs on the horizon, it's a fantastic opportunity for those in the region. Although construction is progressing well, it's important to note that Stellantis is undergoing workforce reductions in the U.S. due to slowing demand for electric vehicles. In March 2024, Stellantis laid off around 400 U.S. workers and hinted they might lay off up to 2,450 of the 3,700 union workers at their Warren truck plant. Production is shifting to another facility and workers may be reassigned. In July 2024, Stellantis temporarily laid off employees at two plants, including the Warren truck assembly plant citing lower sales and inventory issues, resulting in about 1,600 temporary layoffs. Given these circumstances, Stellantis has indicated further workforce reductions at the U.S. factories as they navigate global market conditions and the transition to EVs. 
the shift towards electric vehicles is currently facing challenges, including stagnant sales and consumer hesitation due to high costs and insufficient infrastructure. The industry's transition from combustion engines to electric is expected to be gradual. Windsor and Essex County are experiencing significant changes. We're set for infrastructure upgrades and economic growth in the region, but it won't be without its challenges. Personally, I believe they are pushing an agenda that may not be sustainable, as rushing into electric mandates could endanger the industry. Again, this is simply my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this matter in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Bob Jones, and I'll see you in the next video.